acceleration, man. Got that acceleration. Yeah, so this so, was so the wheel. It's dark. Yeah, I don't know. There's very clearly no hands on the wheel, though. Yeah. Oh, the speed limit's 40. So I'm going to press the button and raise it to 40. Now it says 40. Now it says 40. That also recharges my health bar on the side here. What does the health bar do? Well, the health bar gives you six minutes, just like uh, Slim Shady. Ah, uh, um, and then you have to touch it again. Then you have to touch it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to come to a full and complete stop here. Um, actually, we should do the video where we talk, so if you don't want to. Okay. Um, do you care if your voice is on? No, I don't care. Right. I just won't say anything stupid. Cool. I won't say anything stupid for the video. <laughs> And stop. Um, now, unfortunately, this car does not have a automatic windshield wipers. So, you know, something I would kind of like to trigger right now. Maybe it's this button. Is that the wipers? Do you even know how the wipers work? Oh, oh, yeah. That did something. That's one-time wipers. Oh, that was one-time. No, wipers. there should be. It should be a knob <laughs> that you turn. <laughs> you think cars are so hard? <laughs> Why can't I press the button and be like, "Hey, turn the wipers on"? A little bit. It should be a button on your console. Or it could, yeah. I mean, like, it's here. It's on these, like, weird stuff. Who invented cars, man? Honda. Like, like this, this the interface is so awkward. It's, it's horrible. Imagine Apple made a car. I bet you would have the easiest way to, like, to activate the windshield wipers. What if it's the Model 3? Everything's out there. I know, I know, right? No more buttons. Yeah, no more buttons are bad. Buttons are bad. Thoughts on the car industry from a self-driving car? <laughs> This could be, this could be like, we should do this as just like a, you podcast, could do a podcast, you know? <laughs> like it also is just videos of the car working. I mean, we talk about this stuff all throughout the house all day. You should yeah. just record your daily conversations. Yeah, I know. I know people that do that. Yeah. All right, it messes up here. It doesn't like these like six like, Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're good. We're on the video from here. Yeah, we're good. Um, so yeah, welcome to the first episode of Autonomous Today, where we're in a self-driving car with Open Pilot. Uh, so I'm gonna raise the speed limit a little bit here. I'm just holding this button down. Now we're gonna set it to set it to 65. Yeah, let's go. Cool. So you can see that that went up to 65. So this is my health bar here. I have six minutes um, before. If I don't interact with the car for six minutes. Um, It'll throw up a warning and be like, beep, 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 take control. So maybe we'll try to get there. Six minutes, Honda, you're on. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. What exit are you supposed to be taking? 42? 45. Well, soon we're going to be, well, no, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, we'll see. We'll see if we can make it to the full six minutes. Um, so we're in a Honda Civic Touring Edition. Uh, and we are on the 280 going south. Uh, we are running Open Pilot 0.2.6, which is the latest open source version. And let's see what we can do. So you notice how the lines fan out a little bit. We lose that, it drifts out, it's gonna pull us back. Um, it's quite good at, at night because uh, See? Okay, so that's okay. So I didn't actually have to do anything. That just means that it would like to be putting more torque on the steering wheel than it is. But for safety reasons, we limit the torque massively. So if that comes up, it's just a warning for you to pay attention. It doesn't necessarily mean that the car can't do it. In that case, the car did it entirely. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see that our health bar is now, we've, we've spent about two minutes so far. Turn here. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. Again, we're hitting again. the steering control saturated, but that's fine. I mean, again, you're not touching the wheel. Yeah. So that's not that's not even a limit we can exactly raise. That's baked into the steering firmware of the car. The API command we use to command the steering. Uh, even if you say full steering, that's all it does, and that's one of the reasons Open Pilot is is safe. Obviously, if you could command full steering torque on the wheel, that would be uh, dangerous. That would require a full flashing, right? Yeah, well, we don't, yeah. yeah. No, there's <laughs> nothing, nothing has changed in yeah. this car. Um, this car is running all of the stock Honda firmware. The only thing we did was replace the Honda autonomy system with Open Pilot. Um, so you see we're about halfway through the six minute bar right now. And 
Yeah, this is running on a, this is open source software running on a common Neo, um, connected up to a Honda Civic Touring. Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty obvious kind of what the stuff is. Um, the green is uh, the lanes, you have the left lane and the right lane. The purple is the path that uh, it thinks the car should take. There's a blue path underneath that, which is the path the car is actually taking, but right now they're identical um, because the system is engaged. The red cross is on the car up there, and you can see up here that car is 66 meters away and is going uh, the same speed as us, so plus zero. Minus one, and he's going one mile an hour. Oh, that's the speed of the other person. Yeah, that's the that's the relative speed between us, right? Okay. Um, so 65 is what my cruise control is set at, the speed limit for this highway. 63 is how fast we're actually going. We're going a little bit slower. So when you set the speed on the cruise control, what you do is you set the maximum speed. Um, obviously, open pilot will slow down if it's appropriate. Okay. Um, so here we go around this turn. As you can see, this bar is still going down. I've done absolutely nothing for the time that that bar has been ticking down. Uh, yeah, what else? Oh, we got a cut in over here, so we're gonna see the car is slowing down for us a little bit. You can watch our speed there. Um, you can see when that red X jumped over to him. Right? The turns are getting nice. The turns are nice. Yeah, open pilot, man. Granted, the turns were nice like, what, six months ago? The, tur the turns have been nice for a while. Yeah. But I mean, that was in the, that was in the, obviously the comma zero. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. called the comma zero? Yeah, the old yeah, car. Yeah. We call the old car the comma zero. Um, this is the common Neo, not to be confused with the comma one. The comma one was canceled. <laughs> um, this is the common Neo, uh, which is available free and open source. You can download the plans for this. You can also download the uh, source code for OpenPilot and run it on your very own Common Neo, um, connect it up to your supported car, and enjoy Tesla Autopilot level autonomy. Oh, the windshield wipers, they, they did it up. themselves! <laughs> I love how you can control the car, but you don't know where the windshield wipers are. I know, right? <laughs> it's hard, man. UX is hard. I'd rather the UX be I send some packets over can, you know? Um, so you see our, our bar almost is there. almost out, so hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it, which means I haven't done anything for six minutes. Um, now, this is, you know, always remember this is a level two system. You have to pay attention at all times. This could make a mistake at any time. Um, and it does still make a lot of mistakes. But, you know, it's not like it's ever going to slam the steering wheel to the right. There are always the kind of mistakes that you're just like, okay, I'm going to grab the wheel right now um, or I should be stepping on the brakes a little harder, or I should be stepping on the gas a little harder. Um, so our system disengages if you step on the brakes or the gas, which is a lot, uh, which is different. Most cruise control systems will only disengage Just brake, right? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is, you know, it's either kind of driving or it's not. Um, so if you're engaged, this is orange, um, otherwise it's gray. And it also lights up on your dashboard that ACC and LCAS are on. So there we go, take control to regain speed. We made it. Um, so yeah, your car will eventually slow down, uh, but I'm going to take control back of the car. That was six minutes, fully autonomous, on open pilot. Hell yeah.